Good day, friends. Derek, that ADU guy here. We're on site of this awesome 1-1 ADU over garage that my friend Casey just built. Let's go check it out. All the living space is above the garage area, so there's not gonna be any sound transfer from the ADU down to the primary below. Nice concrete walkway to the exterior entrance. So there's a couple different ways to do an ADU entrance. You can do an exterior staircase up to a landing, or you can do what they did here, which is put the entrance on the interior. So under this half light, we go through this half light door here and up the stairs. Nice, bright entry. This ADU is 475 square feet, but it's gonna live a lot larger than that due to the windows on all walls. Nice light colors. There's a coffered ceiling up here. Again, coming up this stairway, it doesn't feel dark. It doesn't feel restrictive based on lighting. So there's a big 5020 window here. If that window wasn't there, maybe we had a neighbor right next door, you'd wanna do a skylight in the entryway. Some standards you hear me talk about often in the ADU. Some ADU principles are pocket doors. We've got a double pocket door here, which is really cool because the place lives like a studio. Yet if you have guests over, you can close both of these doors. With both of the doors closed, there's good privacy for your guests. They won't feel like they're sitting down in your bedroom. Nice little shelf and pole closet here. In unit washer and dryer, that's imperative that we have that. The competition, most multifamily apartment buildings, especially apartments that are one ones, aren't gonna have in unit washer and dryer, so that's a nice feature. Egress window here, looking out into the neighborhood. Beautiful L-shaped kitchen. A couple of features that are above and beyond for most rental properties, especially in the one one space, would be a full thickness quartz countertop, stainless steel appliances, a nice contemporary undermount sink with a commercial faucet on it. Pantry here. Even though this pantry is only 24 inches wide, it's gonna go a long ways when it comes to storage in a small space. So when we design a kitchen, if there's lots of windows, wherever there's a window, you obviously can't have a cabinet. So it's important to remember to try to save some space for a pantry of some sort. A simple bathroom here with the five foot fiberglass shower surround, 30 inch vanity, again, full thickness, quartz, hard surface tops in here. The floor in this whole unit is a waterproof laminate so it's able to be run throughout if you were using a product that wasn't waterproof or at least highly water resistant you would not want to run that into the bathroom you'd want to use tile which would be more labor and more cost in most cases so casey how much could somebody expect to pay for a unit like this yeah for something similar they could probably expect to pay between 200 to 225 per square foot for a similar bill that's not bad at all. If you consider a 475 square foot brand new build like this multiplied times 225 a square foot, that's a great investment. As long as you're in a market where one bedroom, one baths are in high demand, say you're near a hospital system or maybe there's a university in your area, both of which we have locally. So that's why it makes sense here. But that's just a little insight into budgeting. I hope everybody's having a good day. You can like and subscribe if this channel brings you value, but more than anything, start planning your ADU today.